Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Category. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your category's host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you a great matchup between two Shawnee Mission powerhouses as the Shawnee Mission South Raiders take on the Shawnee Mission West Vikings. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants first from South. Uh, hi, I'm Max. I'm a, a senior and my favorite unnatural disaster is the Sharknado. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm also a senior and my favorite natural disaster is the Whalestrom. Hi, I'm Josiah. I'm a junior and my favorite unnatural disaster is an arachnoquake. Hi, I'm Jack, and my favorite natu unnatural disaster is the Dinonami. Uh, I'm James, I'm a senior. My favorite unnatural disaster is the Sloth Kato. And our contestants from West. Uh, my, my name is Blake, and I'm a sophomore. My favorite Royals player is Lorenzo Kane. My name's Austin, I'm a junior. Uh, my favorite Royals player is Bailey Butler. My name's Lucy, I'm a senior, and my favorite Royals player is Escobar. My name is Courtney, I'm a senior, and my favorite player is Eric Hosmer. My name is Nick, I'm a freshman, and my favorite Royals player is Moose. Fantastic. Too many questions for me to answer right away, so I'm just going to say welcome to the game. Welcome to first round. Here in the first round of categories, we will take turns answering questions. If the team responds correctly, they earn a point. If they respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal. We did a coin toss before we started taping. It was won by the Vikings. And so, Shawnee Mission West, here is the first category. It is U.S. geography, specifically rivers. The Trinity River flows between Dallas and Fort Worth. What river flows between Minneapolis and St. Paul? Courtney? The Mississippi River? It is the Mississippi. Raiders, over to you with Fine Arts Theater. The Globe Theater was in the shape of what geometric polygon? Max? An octagon. It is an octagon. Back to you, Vikings. Geology. What is the class of rocks that were formed in layers underwater? Nick? Sedimentary rocks. That is correct. Back over to you, South World Languages. Whose translation of the Bible did more than any other single force to create a modern German language? Max. Bert. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. Mm -hmm. Vikings, chance to steal this world languages category. Whose translation? Austin. Martin Luther. Martin Luther. West, you do get the next question. It is a statistics question. A statistical variable whose values can be expressed, or excuse me, cannot be expressed in numerical quantities, but are expressed as a category, such as the color of a person's eyes, is called what? Lucy. Qualitative. Qualitative, yes. South, you have the next category. It is US history. What name is given to the years from 1920 to 1933? during which the manufacture, sale, or transportation of alcoholic beverages was forbidden by law. Matt. Prohibition. Prohibition. Back to you, Vikings. Sports is the category. Which four cities, beginning with the letter M, served as host for a Summer Olympics between 1968 and 1980? <laughs> Time on that. Raiders, chance to steal this sports category. Which four cities, beginning with the letter M, served as host for a Summer Olympics between 1968 and 1980? The four cities, not in any particular order. Munich, Montreal, Mexico City, and Moscow. Raiders, you do get the next question. It is current events. Name the designer known for designing clothes for some of the world's most famous and fashionable women, who died last week at the age of 82. Max? Donatella? It is not Donatella. Vikings, chance to steal this current events question. Name the designer known for designing clothes for some of the world's most famous and fashionable women, who died last week at age 82. 
Austin. Is it Calvin Klein? It is not Calvin Klein. It's Oscar de la Renta. Oscar de la Renta. Vikings, you do get the next category. It is children's literature, specifically poetry. Hey, diddle diddle, dumpling my son John went to bed with his trousers on. Reach back to the memories of your childhood and tell me what other strange sleeping habit John had. Courtney? He fell out of bed. He did. Well, he may have, but that's not the answer <laughs> we're looking for. Raiders, you chance to steal this children's literature poetry question. Diddle diddle dumpling, my son John went to, went to bed with his trousers on. Reach back to the memories of your childhood and tell me what other strange sleeping habit John had. Max. Sleepwalking? It's not sleepwalking. One shoe off, one shoe on is what we were looking for. Raiders, you do get the next question. It's science. Is shellac derived from trees, coal tar, insects, or creosote? Josiah. Creosote. That's incorrect. Vikings, chance to steal this science question. Is shellac derived from trees, coal tar, insects, or creosote? Austin. Is it coal tar? It's insects. Insects. Vikings, government is the next question. It's fairly long, so please pay attention. Geographical regions may be divided into election districts in order to give one political party an electoral majority in a large number of districts while concentrating the voting strength of the opposition in a few districts as possible. What is this practice called? Nick. Gerrymandering. It is gerrymandering. Raiders, back to you with general knowledge. What do Westminster Abbey, the Arc de Triomphe, and Arlington National Cemetery have in common? Max. They all house the Tomb of the Unnamed Soldier. Very good. Back to you, West, with world history. The ancient kingdom of Assyria would be found in what modern-day country? Blake. Syria. I cannot accept Syria. Raiders, chance to steal this world history question. The ancient kingdom of Assyria would be found in what modern-day country? Max. Iraq. Iraq. Very good. Back to you, Raiders, with another question. This time it is musical instruments. The name of this instrument, played by mouth, goes back to a Greek word for agreement. What is it? Time on that one. West, chance to steal this musical instruments category. The name of this instrument, which is played by the mouth, goes back to the Greek word for agreement. What is it? Nick? Harmonica. Harmonica. Nice job. West, you do have the next question. It is a language, specifically Italian. Pasta, of course, comes in many shapes and forms, one being linguine. What does linguine translate to? Courtney? Long. Can I accept long? Raiders, Italian language is the category. Pasta, of course, comes in many shapes and forms, one being linguine. What does linguine translate to? Max. Tongue. We can accept that, yes. Raiders, back to you with literature. In the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, what weapon did the mariner use to kill the albatross? Vikings, chance to steal this literature question in the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. What weapon did the mariner use to kill the albatross? Lucy? A sword. I cannot accept sword. He used a crossbow. He used a crossbow. Vikings, we do go to you with a science biology question. Neuron is the technical name for a nerve cell. Give the three basic parts of a nerve cell. Raiders, chance to steal this science biology question. Neuron is the technical name for a nerve cell. Give the three basic parts of a nerve cell. We're looking for axon, dendrite, and cell body. 
Raiders, we do go back to you with a U.S. history quotations question. What famous politician and Civil War general made the following statement about music? I know only two tunes. One of them is Yankee Doodle, and the other one isn't. I'm sorry, time on that. West, chance to steal this U.S. history quotations question. What famous politician and Civil War general made the following statement about music? I know only Austin. Ulysses S. Grant. That is correct. Vikings, you do get the next question. It is U.S. geography. Name the three non-coastal states that border the Pacific coast states. Austin. Nevada, Idaho, and Utah. I cannot accept that. Raiders, chance to steal this U.S. geography question. Name the three non-coastal states that border the Pacific coast states. Max. Idaho, Nevada, and Arizona. Those are the three. Back to you, Raiders, with film. How does William Hurt communicate with Marley Matlin in the movie Children of a Lesser God? Time on that. Vikings, chance to steal this film question. How does William Hurt communicate with Marley Matlin in the movie Children of a Lesser God? Courtney. Sign language. Sign language. Back to you, West, with another, well, it's kind of a language question. It's time, it's vocabulary. From the Turkish for ruler, it was the title given to Mongol rulers in the 13th century. What's the word? Khan. Sorry? Khan. Khan. Very good. Back to you, Raiders. World history. The well-known, finely embroidered dragon robe reached its greatest status during what imperial Chinese dynasty? Max. The Ming. Cannot accept the Ming. West, you have a chance to steal this world history question. The well-known, finely embroidered dragon robe, robe reached its greatest status during what imperial Chinese dynasty? Courtney. The Han. Cannot accept the Han. We're looking for the Manchu or the Qing dynasty. We do go back to you, Vikings, with military history. What beach saw the heaviest resistance on D-Day? Blake. Omaha. Omaha Beach. Back to you, Raiders, with sports. Name the national sport of Mexico. Is it football? Sorry, Matt? Is it football? It is not football. Wes, chance to steal as the last question of the first round. Sports is the category. What is or name the national sport of Mexico? Courtney. Rugby? It is not rugby. It's bullfighting. Bullfighting. <laughs> All right. As we head into halftime, we have a score right now of Shawnee Mission West 10, Shawnee Mission South 6. During our halftime, we're going to go to a member of each team for a campus update. And first from Shawnee Mission South, we have Max giving us an update on the Raiders. Um, currently, we just got done with our musical Pippin. Um, we are just about to start our canned food drive. And um, we're, our Latin teacher at South is currently organizing the uh, Kansas Junior Classical League uh, winter event. So it should be fun. Good stuff. Good stuff. And from Shawnee Mission West, the Vikings. Courtney, what is happening over on Antioch? Well, we've been quite busy. Uh, just recently, the sophomore Cow Twins took first in tennis state doubles for girls. And uh, Caroline Miller took first in uneven bars in state gymnastics and fourth all around. Last Friday, Shawnee Mission West football defeated Shawnee Mission South. And we also have uh, boys soccer is competing in the first regionals game tonight. And girls cross country will be competing at state this Friday. As well as our musical, uh, I mean, our first play of the year will be starting a Midsummer's Jersey. Fantastic. A lot of, lot of things happen at both schools. As we head into the second round, it is our lightning round. We will traditionally, as, as tradition, we will start off with our look and listen question in which we will display uh, video and sound in the studio here through a monitor. Uh, contestants, please be reminded of this. You uh, can answer the question when I'm finished reading the question. 
And once someone rings in, we are not able to stop the video, or we are not able to reverse the video, so we have to go by what the answer is at that time. And don't forget, the look and listen question is worth two points. All right, so here we go, both teams. Name two of the three bodies of water that are seen in this clip. Time on that one. We were either looking for the Golden Gate Strait, the San Francisco Bay, or the Pacific Ocean. All right, as we head into the remainder of the lightning round, this is where we will place questions on the floor for either team to answer. If a team responds correctly, they earn a point. If they respond incorrectly, the other team will still get a chance to steal. So here we go, general knowledge for both teams. The bulk of street traffic in Beijing consists of what type of vehicle? Max. The bicycle. It is the bicycle. Mathematics for both teams. Which household device is based on a sexagesimal number system? James. Uh, the personal computer. I cannot accept personal computer. West, chance to steal this mathematics question. Which household device is based on the sexagesimal number system? Courtney. The barometer. It's not the barometer. Sexagesimal is a base 60. It's a clock. Clock. Current events for both teams. Name the Prime Minister of Canada who vowed to strengthen anti-terror and national security laws after a gunman opened fire in the Canadian Parliament. His name's Stephen Harper. Stephen Harper. U.S. history for both teams and multiple choice. Wild Bill Hickok served as Marshal of Silver City, Dodge City, Abilene, Kansas, or Carson City? Blake. Abilene, Kansas. Abilene, Kansas. Science, medicine for both teams. For a heart, liver, or kidney transplant to be considered successful, the patient must survive how long? 24 hours, seven days, 60 days, or one year? Courtney. One year. One year. U.S. government taxes for both teams. The tax deducted directly from one's paycheck is called what? Income Matt, tax. I cannot accept income tax. West, chance to steal this U.S. government taxes question. The tax deducted directly from one's paycheck is called what? Courtney. Federal tax. I cannot accept federal. I'm looking for withholding tax. Withholding. General knowledge for both teams. Following in the footsteps of Isaac Newton, Stephen Hawking was named a Lucasian Professor of Mathematics at what university? Courtney? Stanford. It is not Stanford. Raiders, chance to steal this general knowledge question. Following in the footsteps of Isaac Newton, Stephen Hawking was named a Lucasian Professor of Mathematics at what university? Max. Cambridge. It is Cambridge. Opera composers is the next category. According to a Companion to the Opera by Robin May, three composers are considered opera's supreme trinity, an 18th century Austrian, a 19th century Italian, and a 19th century German. Name all three. Mozart, Verdi, and Wagner are the three. U.S. history for both teams. The battle of Chapultepec. Chapultepec was the last battle of one of our major wars. What was this war? Austin? Mexican-American War. Mexican-American War, very good. U.S. geography for both teams. These have been called the backbone of the continent. Courtney? The Rocky Mountains. Rocky Mountains. Expressions is the next category. I'll define it prosaically, and you identify the familiar expression. Unsighted like a flying mammal. Max. Pig. I cannot accept that. West, chance to steal this expressions category. I'll define it prosaically, and you identify the familiar expression. Unsighted like a flying mammal. Lucy. When pigs fly? I cannot accept when pigs fly. It's blind as a bat, unsighted. 
Literature for both teams. What novel opens with this line? Here's the quote. You don't know about me without you have read a book by the name of the adventures of Tom Sawyer. Max. Huckleberry Finn. Huckleberry Finn. World history for both teams. Was Northern Ireland created by the, by the British shortly after the Boer War, the First World War, or the Second World War? Max. The First World War. It is the First World War. Geography for both teams. What is the only Arab nation without a desert? Courtney. The United Arab Emirates. Cannot accept that. South, uh, South, you do have a chance to steal. What is the only Arab nation without a desert? Max. Turkey. It's not Turkey. It's Lebanon. Lebanon. Both teams, sports history. On September 22nd, 1969, who hit his 600th home run for the San Francisco Giants? Blake? Willie Mays. Willie Mays. General knowledge for both teams. The most, m most modern sewing machines use two sources of thread to form a lock stitch. One source is a spool usually found at the top of the machine. The other located under the feed plate and is called what? It's called the bobbin, the bobbin. Both teams, economics is the category. In what kind of industry does the labor force work in their own home with their own equipment? Cottage industry, cottage industry. Math is the next category. Three tetrahedra are to be used in a dice game. Each tetrahedra is labeled with consecutive numerals beginning, beginning with one. What is the probability of rolling three ones? Austin. Is it one in 30? That is not one in 30. South, chance to steal this math question. Three tetrahedra are used to, are to be used in a dice game. Each tetrahedron is labeled with consecutive numerals beginning with one. What is the probability of rolling three ones? One in 56. I'm sorry, Matt, that is incorrect. It's one in 64. One in 64. Four times four times four. Science, astronomy. Identify the planet from the following length of the year measured in Earth days. Their year is 4,333 days. Austin. Is it Venus? It is not Venus. Raiders, chance to steal this astronomy question. Identify the planet from the following length of year measured in Earth days of 4,333 days. Max. Neptune. It's not Neptune, it's Jupiter. It's Jupiter. European history for both teams. What English courtier, historian, navigator, and poet took a look at the ax before he was beheaded and quipped, tis a sharp medicine, but a sure cure for all ills? Sir Walter Riley. Fine arts ballet. In ballet, there are how many basic positions of the feet? Courtney. Nine. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Raiders, chance to steal this fine arts ballet question. In ballet, there are how many basic positions of the feet? Max. Four. Five. Five. Foreign language for both teams. In French, Beaupère and Belmare are what two relatives? Courtney? Brother and sister? Cannot accept that. Raiders, chance to steal this foreign language category. In French, Beaupère and Belmare are what two relatives? Matt? Your aunt and uncle? I'm sorry, they're the father-in-law and mother-in-law. Science for both teams, what general term is used to denote all wavelengths of a frequency of 3,000 kilocycles? James. Is it C? I cannot accept that. Vikings, you have a chance to steal the science category. What general term is used to denote all wavelengths above the frequency of 3,000 kilocycles? Blake. Speed. 
cannot accept that either. We're looking at short wave, short wave. Literature for, many, uh, for both teams here. It's a fairly long question, so please pay attention. For many years, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow taught modern languages at Harvard University. In addition to writing his own poems, he translated poetry from 18 different languages. His most significant translation, published in 1867, was of what Italian work? Dante's Divine Comedy. Sports, golf, for both teams. The chunk of turf that often accompanies a golf ball when it leaves the ground is called a what? Blake. A divot. A divot. Science, meteorology for both teams. What index is used by weather forecasters to indicate the purity of the lower atmosphere on a given day? Looking for air quality index. Economics for both teams. According to Adam Smith, the force of greed, oh, we'll finish the question. Economics, once again, is the category. According to Adam Smith, the force of greed is counterbalanced in the economy by Matt. The invisible hand. Cannot accept that. West, chance to steal this economics question. According to Adam Smith, the force of greed is counterbalanced in the economy by social conscience, competition, church dogma, or regressive taxation. Courtney. Social conscience. It's actually competition. But we did have a siren there during that question. That means that is the end of our game with the score of Shawnee Mission West 16, Shawnee Mission South 10. Please join us again next time here on Categories as we will continue to bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all throughout Johnson County.